hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be showing you how to make a kimono jacket and the short pants the two to be set so for that you will need about three yards of fabric so let's get into the video so guys I, I just to keep the video brief i went ahead and cut out what i need so what you're going to need for this is just check what your hip measurement is right to get the width of the fabric your hip measurement for me is 44 divided by 4 is 11 plus extra one inch for seam allowance and extra one inch for ease because it's a kimono jacket you don't want it fitted so that's why i have uh 13 so your hip measurement divided by 4 plus 2 you get the width of the fabric now so how how i did it is that i folded it into two so i have two of these one for front one for back there's no zip allowance here the front and the back are cut almost the same at this point here so you cut two of this fabric folded into two so that's what i did here i have mine now and the length of my jacket is going to be 30 and i added extra 1.5 to it so that's i have 31.5 so that's how i got the length so now let's go into cutting so you see i have the two folded sides facing me see one here the second one here so i have two pieces of this here so let me go straight into cutting the shoulder the first thing you're going to do is to check what your shoulder measurement is so i'm working with eight and um, 16 16 divided by two that's eight so i'm going to come down here mark armhole divided by two my armhole is 20 divided by two that's 10 so I'm going to come down here, mark 10 inches here, connect the line to the shoulder here. The next thing is to come down, just your normal body, uh, basic bodies, come down by one inch for your shoulder slant, and then mark your neckline three inches here, right? And then connect the slant this way. That's three inches distance from here to here. And then the next thing you will do, so the next thing I'm going to do is to come down by three inches here, and then mark my uh, neckline and then also mark three inches this way so three inches three by three is what i'm using for the neckline connect it this way and also connect my armhole this way right so the next thing you're going to do is to come down one inch here this is for the back neckline the three inches is for the front neckline the one inch is for the back neckline so mark one inch here and then connect it together to the neckline so this is my back neckline here I'm going to trace it out soon. So the next thing you're going to do is to take from your shoulder measurement, keep your tape straight. So shoulder to bust is uh, about 10.5 inches, right? For me and most people too. So um, shoulder to waist is 17 uh, or 17.5 because of the half inch seam allowance on top. And then your shoulder to your hip, is about uh, 24.5 also so the next thing you're going to do is to come to your waist measurement here your bust measurement you divide it by four add extra two inches to it one inch for seam allowance one inch for ease if you want you can use extra three inches if you want the jacket a little bigger so you can use two inches for seam two inches for ease one inch for seam allowance so what you're going to do is to bust measurement i'm working with is 40 plus extra two so that's going to leave me with 12. i'm going to mark the 12 here waist measurement i'm working with is 34 plus uh 34 divided by 4 that's going to be 8.5 plus extra two inches that's going to be 10.5 so i'm going to mark that here and then the hip measurement i'm working with is 44 divided by 4 is 11 plus extra 2 inches that's 13 so that's going to be normally the width that i use that's why i use the hip because that's the widest part and if you see it takes up the whole length so i'm going to connect it to this line here connect it here and then connect it out again to meet this one here so that's basically it so we are done cutting the kimono shaping it so i'll i'll trace out the back the back first so i can separate it and then i'll show you how you're going to finish up the the front neckline so just cut along the line right so guys this would even work for a very long kimono let's say you're making a very long kimono the line just keeps going straight down to the end so for me my kimono is supposed to be just two inches above my short so that's why it's stopping at 30. so the next thing i'm going to do now i'm done cutting the back so the back is ready now i'm going to take it out right so now back to the front neckline so 
um what you're going to do for the front is just connect your um these three inches that you put here you're going to try to because this is where the waistline is right you're going to try to make like a v reaching up to this uh, three inch um this waist right the v is going to come down up to this uh up to the waist and then you're going to take out like up to the waist but about one inch in right you're going to connect it to the waist but about one inch or half an inch in not like to the waist right at this point but just going about one inch in and then connect the line to the waist right from this uh, point of three inches here just keep going down straight curve your line just try to make it this way curve this way right but leave some room here about one inch or half an inch depends on you so the next thing you're going to do is now keep your hand straight from this point from here you made it like an angle but from this point you're going to keep it straight about half an inch and taper it down all the way down right half an inch all the way down if you are using one inch here maybe go down half an inch all the way down so now i'm going to cut this whole thing out so guys as you can see i've gone ahead and cut off the excess that i have here so my kimono body is ready so the next thing I can I I also do is just to come here midway from this point on the armhole because your sleeve is supposed to be in. Just come down by halfway through. So halfway for me is going to be 4.5, right? At this point, coming by half an inch. And then half an inch here, connect it this way, just to give it that. Because you know your armhole in front is supposed to be deeper than the one at the back. So you just trace this out and cut it out, right? So that's basically it and the kimono is ready So this is what I did this on the front. You don't have to do it at the back. So everything is ready This is the back neckline Here, I just cut out that one inch and this is ready. So I'll cut out the sleeve to the Sleeve here. So basically I just folded this fabric into two into two this way So I have two pieces of this fabric here my armhole divided by two that's armhole is 20 divided by two that's 10 so i have 10 here checked my cap height and then marked like this way i already have a video on how i make the cap uh this is cut a sleeve so i didn't because this the end is supposed to be open so i didn't cut it out or like narrow it this way i didn't narrow it this way i just went to the the, the full width of the fabric so what i'm going to do now is to I already cut out what I'm going to be adding at the end of this fabric. So the length, the width of this here is about is about five inches. You can make your seven inches so that when you fold it, you have three inches this way. But mine, I folded it, I made it five so that when I fold it this way, I have about two inches because I'm going to be using uh half an inch the other half an inch from the five because two inches on this side two inches on this side that's four the other one inch remaining is going to be the half an inch i'm going to use to attach this at the bottom of my sleeve so i'm going to use this here and then attach it to the end of this sleeve like this right so this is how you're going to do it you go to your sewing machine hold your fabric uh, right side facing you so this is the sleeve i'm going to first do the sleeve fold the band you, you bet it's better to cut as much uh, as long as you can because I have a lot of it here as you can see I already cut a lot of it here so wherever I stop I go ahead and attach because my fabric is not long enough to make just one whole long one so wherever I stop I attach and continue so this here how I'm going to do it is fold it into two get my sleeve right side facing me so this is the right side of this fabric right I'm going to just take this band here, attach it to it, sew it down all the way, all the way to the end here, and then flip it this way, right? After sewing it down, I'm going to flip it this way, and then... So guys, after attaching this to this, like this, right? After putting it together, the next thing I did is to top stitch it, right? As you can see, if you look closely, you will see the top stitch on top here. And when you do your top stitching, you move this, you move this end here facing inside of the sleeve. You don't push it this way. You move it in facing the, the end of the sleeve. Like you move it this way and then you give it a top stitch. So you can see my top stitch from the outside here on top here. There's a top stitch there. 
So that's basically how I did it. So this one is going on this side of the sleeve, right? This one is going to go on this side. As you can see, one side is already done. I've attached the sleeve to the body. So let me show you guys the next thing you're going to do after that. So as you can see, I've gone ahead and attached the shoulder. One thing you can do before you cut this here is you can also go ahead, use your tape, measure all the way around, right? In the neckline, come down and measure all the way to the end and know how much of this you would need. Or you can go ahead and just cut any amount you want and just keep on attaching whatever you have left. You can just keep it. So for me, um, you, the width I'm using here, like I said before, is about five inches. So when I fold it here, and, and attach using the half an inch, I'll be left with two inches here. So what I'm going to do now is to join this together and make a longer one and then go back to the end. So how you're going to do it, you start from the end here. For me, that's how I do mine. I start from the one end or you can start from this end, fold it into two, fold the band they're attaching. It mustn't be a different fabric. You can also use the same, sorry, the same fabric as the one you're sewing on. And then you place it on, on top this way, right? You place it right on top of the fabric, not from the inside, but just this is how you put on the jacket. This is the right side facing me. So you just place it from this top part here and just keep sewing. And that's how you're going to keep sewing all the way. You get to the neckline, you just keep sewing it. Like fold it into two this way, continue your stitch, right? My mind, so mine is going to end at this point. I'm also going to put in this next one here and just keep sewing it all the way down to the end. So guys, after attaching it, the next thing I did is to fold it this way and then also top stitch it. And if you look on the inside, you see that my the excess fabric is facing inside, not facing towards the brown part. It's facing towards the Akara fabric. So that way it looks neater. So I, give, I gave it a top stitch here all the way around the neckline and finished it. So when I got to this point, I folded the ends of the fabric. So this is what it looks like at the moment here. So this is what it looks like right now. So yeah. So now it looks short because it's about 30 inches. So now we'll move over to the pant, the short pants. 